Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we've got Proverbs 19 2. It is not good to have zeal without knowledge, nor to be hasty and miss the way. So, yeah. Just working on being my best me. Um, just trying to keep a level head, and you'll hear why here in a few minutes. Okay. So I don't have anything off the hook. I have been working on this one and I am down to just having a little bit of this ball left. So I am it's stuck in there. Oh my hook's it's on there. Um but it's getting there. It's taking forever. You know, with smaller yarn, it always seems to take forever. So, I mean, this is just one of those ones that seems to take forever. I have four balls of this to do. And, yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely working on it. I'm putting back what I had done. I just jerked out. Um, but it it is a super pretty wavy pattern. And I love it. It's got a lot of texture and it just makes the colors look nice. And I know that the camera doesn't really show it, but there is green, pinks, blues, all the way down to a white. And they're the, like a dusty rose and a um, moss green. It, it's really pretty. So anyway, I will keep going. It's just taking forever. And like I said, I've got, <coughs> excuse me, I've got this much left of the first ball. And I have been working on it. So, yeah. One of the things, one of the reasons I can't work on that one is uh, the evening light. As my eyes get tired, um, it's just so tiny that it just drives me crazy. So I did find and start another pattern. Now it's this, it's inspired by this. It is not exactly this. Okay. So this mini me, and this is from the crochet wear. Um, I don't know if you can see that, that glare. I don't know how to say her name. Ann Regis, R-E-G-I-S. Um, hi, you too. Chill. Um, it's crochet wear, and I've discussed this book before with you. The window is, is glaring off of it. And it's got some very beautiful patterns in it. That it says it's got 25, but this is a book that has one called the Geo. And then when you go to make it, like two pages down is another one that's super close. It's almost the same pattern, just with different, with like one row difference. Anyway, so I was inspired by the mini me. And I had two um, of these bonbon uh, yarns. They're definitely a worsted weight. Um, it's 300 meters. They think I double checked and it's like 328 yards per ball or 100 grams. Um, it doesn't have like the hook size and all that stuff that is, I don't know. Um, but it is super scrunchy. I got it on sale. If you remember, I got the red that I made that shawl with at the same time. So, all right, what I've done is I made the mini me and then added on and left a few things off. Um, 
get this up here. So the mini me is work from the bottom up, which I did. I didn't alter too much of it, but so the top part up here would be the mini me. Um, there is a ruffle that goes around the neck that then makes it a pullover. Okay, so basically after you do this, then you make this ruffle that just shh, it ties these two together. Well, I don't know. I kind of like this style. And so this is the mini me. And then I decided that I didn't want it so mini and I am going to add on bottom and we'll see how far that ball of yarn gets to going and we'll go from there but I think it's cute and we shall see but anyway so that was my crochet um, I did get some other things done this weekend um, and of course they're sewing However, um, Friday on the way home from work, I got a call that another young man had passed away and he was only 33. His mom used to be my best friend. Um, we've kind of drifted apart over the years. The kids were young. They played together, you know. Um, when we moved out to the farm, we just didn't stay as close as we pro as we were, as probably we should have. But anyway, um, he had a pacemaker. <clears throat> he uh, had a, a heart attack, they said, and the pacemaker brought him back. And then, like 30 minutes later, he had another massive heart attack and he passed away from that one. So the pacemaker didn't or couldn't make his heart come back. His heart just stayed out. So, um, he'd had some heart trouble in the past. He had a pacemaker, you know, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, not a very good week. Um, just rough just rough. These are kids, you know, these kids are younger than I am a lot younger than I am. These kids are young enough to be my kids. And, uh, yeah, it just breaks my heart. You know, I don't know why, but it just, <sighs> that being said, as you can tell, I haven't slept very well and just <clears throat> it just hurts. So, um, all in all, these are the kids that I thought would be there for my kids when I pass away. And at this rate, there's not going to be anybody left to go to my funeral. So anyway, just trying to keep it together. Don't know why so many so young can't take care of themselves, you know? Um, anyway, so, uh, Let's see what else is going on. <clears throat> it was Macy's birthday. <coughs> Sorry. It was Macy's birthday. Um, her actual birthday is Tuesday, but RJ went down and spent the weekend with her. Um, he brought me some mending, but that's in the sewing section. Uh, and then, let's see what else went on. I got a, an interview for that job. So I'm hoping, you know, there's a lot of talent in that office. So hopefully I get the job. Um, but, and let's see, and that is Wednesday. But uh, other than that, just been puttering around here. Didn't go anywhere this weekend. Didn't do anything this weekend. Just stayed here, puttered around, cleaned up. Did laundry, stuff like that. Vacuumed, which is a big deal for putting these guys out because Hitch doesn't like the vacuum. Um, 
Yeah, they're wrestling on the floor. Worm, quit. Hi. And uh, anyway, so I did repot some of my plants um, just to give them bigger space. This big guy was root bound. And uh, let's see, then my little tree thing, I had to replant it. My aloe vera. Yeah, so anyway, I did. I replanted some things and it is what it is. So, uh, turn some things so that they'll more than likely go back to the sun. Just straighten them up. But honestly, guys, when you have so much going on that you're puttering with and dealing with, There are times that I just sat and didn't know where the time went. So this weekend went really fast. I didn't get a whole lot done. I mowed the little strip in front yard in the front yard that uh, gets really long. It's that spring grass, as I call it. Um, pot repotted a few plants, laundry, dishes, vacuumed. Um, so really, I don't know where the weekend went. I don't know. I don't feel like I've made any progress. But again, I'm burying people that I thought would attend my funeral. So I get it. Life goes on. Everything happens for a reason. Still hurts. Just saying. So, anyway. Alright. Um, I think, really, that's all I have for today. The sewing section... I have a little bit more, but yeah. So, all right. Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.